Hello everyone, in this video we are going to talk about truss analysis method of section. So we talked about method of joints previously. Method of section is an additional method that we use for truss analysis. And depending on the problem, one of them would be easier uh, to follow. And in some problems we have to use um, both. Method of section based on the fact that if a truss is in equilibrium, any segment of the truss is also in equilibrium. So in the truss that you can see, if this truss is in equilibrium, we are talking about a static, so it is, the truss is not moving, therefore any segment would be in equilibrium. So if we make a section cut, if we cut the truss into two segments and call them left segment and right segment, each segment must be in equilibrium which means that it should satisfy equilibrium equation, summation of forces in x, y, and summation of moment about any point on or off the truss should be zero. So we make a section cut to find the internal forces. After making the section find, then the internal loads become external loads, as you can see here. These internal loads are now external loads. And if we add the two segments together, the right side and the left side, these ex internal loads are gonna cancel each other and they're gonna go away. So if we put the segments back together, these internal loads would go away and we have our original external loads. So I'm gonna show you the procedure for analysis uh, using an example. First, we need to find the support reaction forces. So in this problem, we have AY, AX, and then we have DY. And we know that AX is zero because there is no forces in the horizontal direction. And we can find AY and DY by equilibrium equation. So sometimes you can get away with skipping the first step depending on what the problem is asking for. So here, we want to find the forces in members EF, BE, and BC. So these three members, we want to find the forces. So you can see method of sections, we use it when we don't want to find uh, the forces in all members. If we want to find the forces in the specific members, then we can make the appropriate section cut. So the second step is make a decision on how to cut the truss to find the unknown member forces. So here for this problem, because the forces in member F, E, B, E, and B, C is desired, then I wanna make a section cut here. So I expose all these members and their internal force becomes external force here. The third step is to draw the free body diagram, by a body diagram of the left or the right segment of the truss. So I can choose which side I'm going to use. For this problem, it really doesn't matter. It's uh, symmetric. So it's not symmetric, but uh, the load, the workload for analyzing the right or the left side would be the same. So I can have my truss here. I have the members. of have AY here. That's B11 kilonewton, F, B, A, and uh, that's all I have. Then I'm going to assume tension force for each internal force. So this B, C, I'm going to assume tension force, F, B, C. Then I will have F, B, E, because it's going from B to E. as well as force Fe. And I assume tension in method of sections, and if I get a negative value, that means that the assumption is incorrect and the member is actually in compression. Then the last step is to write the equilibrium equation. So equilibrium equations in method of sections is summation of forces in x equals zero, summation of forces in y, and summation of moment. If you remember, in method of joints, we only had summation of forces in X and Y because we didn't have dimension, but here we have dimension. So summation of moment would be 
zero as well. Here in method of section, sometimes it is easier to write multiple moment equation rather than summation of forces in X and Y. For example, in this problem, if I write summation of moment about point B, then I have only one unknown, which would be FE. And I can find FE. So that's one equation. Then I could write summation of forces in X and Y, or I could write another moment equation. Let's say I write a moment equation about point E, which is after a section cut is off our truss, but we still can write a moment equation about that point. So if I write a moment equation about point E, I get rid of two of the unknowns, which is FBE and FFE, because they are acting, uh, they're going through that point. So I can find the other unknown, which is FBC. So you can see sometimes it's easier to write multiple moment equation about different points rather than uh, using summation of forces in X and Y. But at the end, you need to know that you can find three unknowns because you have only three equations in 2D equilibrium problem.